I have finished grinding the blade and I'm ready for the handle. I am using a leopard wood for the handle. Cut two pieces to be just a little bit over the size of the handle and I locate it to exactly where I want it to finish, to end and try to clamp it parallel I set up in here, so first I'm going to do one side I clamped it Put it kind of high to clear the clamps, and I'm going to drill one side. to the blade so I can put the other side in and drill from here to save some time I already just put the piece I drilled with two pins into the holes to, so they aligned and I clamped the second piece right on the other side now sure that they will go tight to the other side now I can move pins it's clamped and drill through Just to note that I aligned the pieces here and here to be aligned because now when I take it out I can clamp both and grind this side. Using epoxy, epoxy put the pins all down. Here I cut already all the pins and I file the edges just so they'll go easy in. Once they go in, they will extend. With little pressure in, they will extend out a little bit. After epoxy and clamping the wood in few spots, I can hammer them down for the brass to expand and grab the steel and the wood. Yep. I lower the speed of the sandpaper not to burn the wood. Just for this this part I installed a 90 degree uh, table so I can go easy and I mark the edge where it meets, where I want it to meet. Again, take your time, 
and don't stay a long time not to heat it up you'll get a burn mark space I'm almost I'm almost there I want to have a little thickness here for durability Make sure you cover everything pretty good. Oh, I need to work fast now. Here, 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 here. What else? I think this is good. So all the pins sticking out a little bit of flash, then they'll be grounded. Okay, now, now it's important to clean up all the uh, the excess uh, epoxy on the wood on the blade. Shaping the handle, you gotta lower the speed on the sand belt, not to burn the wood. And to take the time. Yeah. Pins out, pins. Uh, this stage, you just need to take your time. Little by little. Yeah, I'll need to cover this side. I will. Okay, I'm ready to shape the handle. I wrapped the, the blade with cardboard and protected everything so I won't scratch it, I won't cut my hand and I'm using I'm gonna start 120 and go easy with a slower speed I have a speed control here that I'm gonna go probably a half a speed and my machine running on 70, 60 17, 60 RPM um, it's a four pole motor I built this machine and I'm running a vacuum here just to try to uh, suck all and all the uh, dust here underneath you know it's a lot of dust <coughs> yeah and uh, put your put
it's pretty comfortable. It could be a little thinner, but I like the good grip like that for some reason. Tiger wood, tiger, <laughs> tiger wood, <laughs> leopard wood. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, just soak it, wipe it. You can do it a couple of times if you want. soak it and soak it but this is a it's good enough some people boil it and leave it inside a, a can all day all night or all week this has been working for me fine the wood really nice really really nice it looks soak and then uh, maybe do one more coat of that and then I'll mix the shellac and linseed oil half and half warm it up put it in let it dry clean it uh, buff it a little bit and uh, that's about it um. well this is the end of this video We'll make uh, more videos about sharpening the blade with Japanese stones and most important testing the blades on, on wood on chopping and to see how they hold the edge. Um, also going to make some more videos on, on all different items of grinding or uh, different things on the process of making the knife. Thank you for watching.